Good morning, hope you're in the best day of your life. I know I am, so I am trying a St. Louis Ray. St. Louis, St. Louis Ray. Well, I may have butchered that. I have notorious for butchering names, and this is the uh, Carinas. So, this is a decent looking smoke. This is the St. Louis Ray, Carinas Toro. So, first of all, decent looking cigar in this package. Oh, drop my thing. Let's put it over there, get it out of the way. So, Let's open this up. And first impressions make a difference. Ooh, ooh. Sweet, it smells sweet. Like not flavored, but ooh, that smells delicious. Oh my goodness, that smells like, um, smells like breakfast. It smells like a perfect way to start my day. It smells like, um, ooh, that's delicious. Good lord. I was not expecting that. I expected an okay cigar, but I wasn't expecting one that smelled that good. That is a beautiful aroma. Um, sweet, fruity, I love it. So, have my puppy, my knife. This is my zero tolerance knife I love. It's a go-to, my father gave it to me. And I'm gonna cut the cap off. So, I know people have different thoughts about keeping the cap on or off. I'm probably cutting with a knife. Um, so, or a razor. So I like to cut up with a knife or a razor. I always use my pocket knife. There's multiple reasons why. One, I love the meditation of it. Um, it just is a fun process, kind of for the ritual, right? In my old knife, I feel like I'm a, uh, I feel like I'm a real man. Um, but two, also, I do legitimately find I do like the airflow more when I um, remove the cap in this method. It does seem to get a better pull. Now, that could just be me. I do have mild OCD, or I do have OCD. Uh, I'm diagnosed with it, so that's true. Um, so it could just be my head, but also maybe it's just a control thing. Good little draw right there, but uh, yeah. So I I will find that I definitely I definitely like it. That lighter is dead. Let's grab my other one. Uh, but I like cutting it with a knife. Let's toast the foot here. So as I'm toasting the foot, so I wanted to talk about what I'm really thinking about today, which is something very important to me, which in life, and there's generally. Um, shortcuts are always the wrong answer. Like doing the work, doing things the right way is always the right answer and there's no way to get around doing the hard work. And so I come from that context that I've owned a business for years. I've been self-employed for years and every time I took shortcuts or I tried to find the easier path, like I could find a simpler path, but I try to find the easier path that worked, that's when life got hard for me. And it's always when I embrace the work, respected the process, and also figured out how can I do more of the work I love to do as much as possible. That's why I did well. And when I looked for shortcuts like crazy, that's why I did not. Ooh. Good flavor. Good flavor. It's so not. It's very mild. It's not harsh. It's very mild. Hmm. So it has almost like a um, a foresty taste to it, like pine. That's what I'm thinking of pine. So I'm from East Texas. So when I taste this, it reminds me of the smell of pine, the, the pine trees in the woods. And that's very pleasant because it makes me think my childhood is like crazy. So I actually really enjoy this. It's lovely. Very mild, nothing crazy about it. I think I do barred the uh, the ring there, that burn. Then my lighters, guys, yeah, I left my lighter in the rain. It's, it's gone for now. Oh well, oh well. What the hell, what the hell? Um, but so, very pleasant. But back to the topics of work. So guys, so the thing is, everyone looks for shortcuts, everyone's looking for an easy way to make money, blah, blah, blah. So I'll say there is a way to kind of find a shortcut. I'll say that choosing the right market is really the best way to find a shortcut. So for me, my business, so I'll just, I'll just tell you a video on it. So I've been in the uh, karate business. Uh, karate, my voice credit is like karate. By uh, the karate business. 
my entire life. So what the re really doing is karate business is very similar to it's like a luxury gym business. You're selling high price memberships are very valuable um, where you're dealing with generally a clientele are paying you a large amount of money um, uh, who are generally pretty fluent or generally or good solid middle class people who want to really learn and grow and you are giving them exemplary the top level customer service so our widget for my business has always been amazing customer service that means great communication really classes amazing follow-up but also the biggest thing is also caring about your class and crazy and so what i've always done well is i legitimately love my students and so i've always had very successful schools that have ran because i legitimately care about them like crazy and it shows that's been the biggest feedback i've gotten is that i really give a hoot about my clients and that's just me period like if you're giving me especially once you're my student i view you i did not store this well but like i view you as my child i'm going to take care of you i'm going to give myself to you fully but so i had a school in an area where it was a good market it did well but it wasn't the best market but also the market was not the best fit for me it was not a place i liked living at all and so I knew for me, I knew if I moved elsewhere to a place I love to live, where I love my environment, where I love the community, but also the income was far higher, I would be far more successful. And guess what? I moved to an area where the incomes are higher, there's even more kids, and also I love where I live. I freaking love where I live. I live by the ocean, it's amazing, I love it. So there's like little like issues as well, but because of it, I changed my environment that way, I do the same work, but I'm far more successful, far faster, because I have a far more fluent clientele who can afford my product and are willing to pay a lot more for the service. I take it more seriously as well because of that, which is awesome. And I also get what I want, which is I get a better business, but I also get to live in the place of my dreams where I can be so dang happy all day, every day. Like, how cool is that? But so, I made it easy for myself. So especially for me as well, I'm a very creative person. Like I adore art. I love learning. I love working with people. I love um, getting myself out in creative outlets. That's why I have YouTube because it's so much fun to make it to connect with you guys. But having that makes my day amazing. And so for me, I'm willing to work way longer for longer hours all the time even like i'm on all the time is crazy because i'm so excited every day about my work because i love my life i love what i get to do every day so you want to put yourself in a position where it's not like the work's easier per se but put yourself in a position or well, no shortcuts where it's not work anymore and you're just thriving you're enjoying it and so much fun to you like for me even like youtube responded comments stuff like that like that's not work it's like that's so much fun like i love it i love connecting with you i love talking about cigars Oh, that's damn good. Um, cigars, movies, music, whatever it may be. Um, art, art is my first love, so I will post more about art because that is who I am, an artist at heart. But if you, uh, you know, be an artist with your life, if you can put yourself in positions where you will thrive, you'll be happy, and the work comes easier and the success falls because of that, and also you attract better people to your life because you're living your dream, so you will attract people living their dream as well, and then like, you're winning. Like you just won, man. Um, it's so cool, but I'll say also for me as well, so I'm diagnosed, I have OCD, if you cannot tell. Um, a different kind of OCD, like so I have the uh, the uh, intrusive thoughts about things where I'm not like um, like a clean freak per se, like a little bit, a little bit of germaphobe, but I will, like I will fall back on weird patterns, right? Or I'll try to like, especially as a child, I would fall back on like little fidgets, like be like, I gotta snap my fingers three times in a row so this bad thing does not happen, like stuff like that. Like, gotta like put my foot together three times the bad thing doesn't happen. And so it took years to work through that. And so even now as an adult, I realize I really need to check into therapy again to help myself with that, get through it. Cause I prefer to avoid medication personally. Cause let's be honest, like OCD is a little crazy, but it has helped me a ton with my business. And it's probably why I work like 70, 80 hours a week all the time. Cause I, I love it. I'm also wired to be like proactive and everything all the time. Um, but yeah, but if you change your environment, even if it's difficult, you'll find yourself being happy as a clam and life is amazing and you're thriving. So if you're someone and you have an opportunity, like, okay, you're like, you're doing like something business wise and like, it's just not clicking and you like your work, but you're like, I just hate where I live or like, I like, I'm way too close to my family. That was my case. And I just have that negative energy on me all the time. I feel obligated to them. Uh, by changing your environment, you change your perspective, you start over 
and generally your success will go with it because you're going to do the same work, but now you're happier, healthier, and you'll make more money or everything else. But also in my case, you're happier, you make more money, and your relationships, everything is so much better, and you get to live your dream. Because um, like I can just go smoke a soggy, work my butt off all day, then go to the ocean and read. Like best day of my life. Um, anyway, guys, I love you so much. Subscribe if you like. If you don't, that's fine as well. Have the best day of your life. I am Chris. Love you all. Take care, my friends. Be well. Always be gentlemen and adios.